Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your June monthly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. The overall energy of your love situation in the month of June, we have the Ace of Wands, your challenge, we have the Five of Wands, the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, their energy towards you, we have the Three of Swords, your energy towards them, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. I'm going to be very honest with you, Scorpio. I think you get two aces here. I think you're focused on something new, okay? I feel like that's your energy here. I feel like there is something new catching your eye or your interest. There is... Uh, something that's making you feel very excited. There's a spark between you and you see a lot of potential here with this. So there's a spark between you and somebody else and you see a lot of potential here. Now, I do feel like there's also a past person here that I feel like you guys have already experienced some kind of ending and possibly betrayal with. Uh, we got the Seven of Swords energy and that Three of Swords energy. I feel like they're asking for some kind of forgiveness here especially with this justice card being right underneath that. So I do feel like this past person is coming in and wanting to make something right with you, okay? But I feel like you guys are already very focused on something else. They have the five of wands here as the challenge. I do feel like there could be a little bit of a conflict here. One, I feel like it's the competition. This person is seeing that maybe you're interested in somebody else or that you're starting to move forward and they're feeling that very heavily. Um, the five of wands, I also feel like them is that this is them wanting to fight for the connection or fight for you. They're not wanting to let you go here, okay? Um, I do feel like you could end up having some kind of argument or conflict with this person. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take a look a little bit further here. What is this person's next action towards Scorpio, please? What is their next action towards Scorpio? We have the death energy. And what is Scorpio's next action towards this person? We have the eight of wands. So I do feel like there's going to be a conversation here. I feel like you're letting this person know. Even here in this card, it's laid out this way. And these arrows are pointing in the other direction. I feel like you're letting this person know. I do feel like you're going to end up having a conversation with them where you're letting this person know what direction you're moving towards. I feel like you're letting this person know that you're moving towards somebody new here. Okay, that there's somebody else that's kind of captured your attention here and that you're going to see where that goes. I feel like you're kind of turning your back on um, this past person. I feel like you're telling them that. You know, I feel like you're letting them know that, you know what, you know, there's something new here and I'm going to see where this goes. I'm going to focus on this. I feel like you're being really upfront and direct with somebody about, um, about what you're doing here, okay, and how you feel about the situation. And that maybe is where some of this conflict comes in at because I feel like somebody was uh, you know, I feel like they're not going to want to hear that. So I do feel like when you are, when you're up front with somebody, when you're telling them and you're kind of cutting, you know, turning your back on this situation here, I do feel like there could be some conflict or they could end up lashing out and saying something Scorpio, but I do feel like they will end up moving into a space of acceptance, but I just feel like it's not going to be easy for some of you guys. I feel like that's why I don't feel like you're telling this person to, to be mean or vindictive. I feel like you're, you're telling this person because that's what it's taking for them to stop. Because I, I, I mean, I feel like they were wanting to continue to fight for it. They were continuing to try. And I feel, Scorpio, that you had to just be honest with this person. Like, look, there's something new here in order for this person to um, just kind of stop. Okay. What is Scorpio's advice in this situation? We have the sun card. The sun can talk about just focusing on your happiness. Okay. Trying to have a positive outlook trying to speak positivity over the situation for those especially for those of you where this conversation hasn't happened yet spirit could be asking you to speak positivity over the way that this conversation could go um but the sun card also can talk about 
clarity and transparency and exposing things. So I feel like spirit's just saying, yes, your advice is to focus on what's best for you and what's going to make you happy and to try to be as positive as you can and to try to be as transparent as you can. What is the potential outcome? We have the lovers. So Scorpio, I do feel like you're, you know, got this Cupid here. I feel like you guys have been shot by Cupid's arrow. I feel like you're experiencing a turning point where I feel like you're finally able to, to turn your back to the past. And I feel like some of you guys, you've been in a cycle with this person. Um, so it hasn't, you know, it's not easy to do, but I feel like you're experiencing a turning point where you're finally able to turn around. You're feeling a new connection. You've been feeling Cupid's arrows. You're starting to feel you know, very uplifted, very positive, very excited. You see a lot of potential here and you're just going in a, in, a, in a brand new direction all the way around. Okay, so I feel like this person is going to, you know, they are going to be hurt, but I feel like they are going to be moving into a place of acceptance as well. But that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.